Hello everyone, let's talk data. I am here to give you all an introduction to what is Alexio, a three-part series. Before I start on what exactly is Alexio, in this video I will first be explaining the problem that Alexio aims to solve. In the next video, I will share more about what Alexio is, and in the last video, I will go over how you can contribute to the Alexio open source project. So first, let's understand how data is currently being handled, and let's define the problem that Alexio aims to solve. The most valuable companies around the world are data-driven. Emerging businesses may require accessing data spread across silos. As a result, copying and managing data becomes costly, error-prone, and causes delays. Another challenge we see is that different people and teams need to access these existing data sources and scaling consumption creates bottlenecks for existing workflows. Lastly, new compute and storage technologies are being developed every few years. With this innovation, the data stack has to adapt based on multiple environments. If simply making copies, a traditional infrastructure may look like or evolve into something like this. In many cases, the data infra starts with an on-premises environment for analytics, like Hadoop HDFS. Then, many data teams may start to introduce new kinds of applications like machine learning frameworks, such as PyTorch and TensorFlow, and new storage solutions suited for the applications. Finally, adoption of a single or multiple clouds, like AWS and Google Cloud, adds even more environments to manage. Copying large amounts of data can lead to prohibitive network egress charges and each environment may have their unique API and access control model. This solution not only slows down business agility, but is also expensive both in terms of people and infrastructure costs as we rely on manual copy-based data synchronization across storage systems and various environments. As you can see, there is a strong demand for simplification as technology continues to improve. First, there is a need for unifying data silos across multiple locations, supporting multiple APIs and a common user experience to meet the demands of analytics and AI applications. Second, with storage separated from compute, the platform needs to provide easy and efficient access to data, regardless of the location of data. Lastly, the solution needs to be environment agnostic and multi-cloud ready to accommodate for the future state for compute and storage technology. So that was a quick overview of the problem that Alexio aims to solve. In the next video, I will be sharing more about what Alexio is and showing an updated data infrastructure and where Alexio sits. For more information and resources, check out our website at alexio.io. Follow our LinkedIn and Twitter to stay up to date with our latest news and events. Being an open source project, we invite you to take a look at our GitHub repository, and if you have any questions, feel free to join our Alexio Slack to get all of your Alexio questions answered by our experts. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.